All right. So let's do. Um, so basically, uh, I think for Friday we should have more than nine until more than nine thirty. But for today we have we, we have to finish in like twenty five minutes. Um, so we'll have a short class. Um, we'll start this at seven. Um, but first we want to practice the verbs, okay? Because now the verbs are, are 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 coming in like a flood. Um, so let's do past tense first, right? Past tense is what, called what in Arabic? Fairly? Maldi. Maldi. Okay. In, I will just write it like this, Maldi. So Maldi is past tense. Past or um, perfect tense. Okay? It means an action has already been done. Um, in some cases, it can stand for an action that will be done Okay, in the future. That's certain to happen. Okay? Um, Okay, so what does qara'a mean? He read. He read, or he recited, or he, um, yeah, he read. Okay, so he read. Alright, ready? Let's go through all of them. So we, we should know by now all of the 14 forms of qara'a with all, with all 14 pronouns for past tense. Ready? Qara'a. 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 Qara'u. Qara'at. Qara'ata. Qara'ata. Qara'na. Qara'ta. Qara'ta. Qara'tuma. Qara'tuma. Qara'tum. Qara'tum. Qara'ti. Qara'ti. Qara'tuma. Qara'tuma. Qara'tunna. Qara'tunna. Qara'tu. Qara'tu. Qara'na. Qara'na. Okay. Brother Najmu, what's... Anta? Qara'ta. Qara'ta. Okay, you, if I'm talking to a one man, Qara'ta. Okay, so Sishreen, what is uh, Huma for two men? Qara'a. Qara'a. Right, so you say Qara'a and then you put an extra alif there for two men, Qara'a. Sister Tahira, what is Nahnu? Qara'na. Qara'na. It's a noon alif, right? Qara'na is we read, okay? Um, Brother Ala, what is um, Antunna? You all a group of women. Qara'tunna. Mm, Qara'tunna. Excellent. Antunna, Qara'tunna. And Brother Anwar, what is um, hum? Hum. Qara'a. Uh, they read. <coughs> they, uh, uh, three or? Three, three or more men. Qara'u. Qara'u. Excellent. So they read is Qara'u. Okay. So we should all have that. This lesson is basically do is teaching you that so we already know this right um what happens if we want to make qara'a into past tense what is past tense called first so pre- uh, sorry sorry past tense is called mali what's present tense called mudari m-u-d-a-r-i um yeah well, i don't want to write it in arabic Okay, so this is fairly mudare, the present tense, or the incomplete, or the imperfect tense. Imperfect meaning it's, it hasn't been done yet, it's still happening, or um, it can also mean future. It will happen. Okay. With the, with the future one, what particle do you use to put in front of it? Yeah. You usually put a sa in front of it. Okay, we'll, 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 we'll talk about this in a little bit. Um, but if, if it's, there's a sa in front of a present tense mudare verb, then it's fu- for a future. Okay? Um, all right, so what would it be for he is reading or he reads or he will read? Yaqra'u. Yaqra'u. Okay, so I have my ya first. For this is my sign of being mudare. And then I put a, a sukun on the first root. And the second one, I'm going to keep the fatha. This is in that column where... The fatha stays on a fatha, uh, and this is abbreviated A dash A. A. Okay. So the A stands for a fatha. Okay. It's A. It's a fatha in the in the past tense ra, and it's a fatha in the present tense ra. What what am I gonna put on this alif? Yaqra u. Okay. This is a dhamma. Um, so the yaqra u is he is reading or he will read. Okay. Um, and the future, I said, if you if you put a sa in front of it, then it means it will it will happen in the future. So you can say sa yaqra'u, he will read, okay? And it means and it's only for the future. Oh, so sa is not instead of yeah, it's no no, it's not in front of it. It, it precedes the whole verb. It's, yeah. it's a it's a particle, okay? It's a it's a huff. 
So you would say he will read sayaqra'u. Okay. Um, let's do the five in your pocket really quick. So yaqra'u is he reads. What she reads? Taqra'u. And you male read? Taqra'u is the same thing. I read? Aqra'u. And we read? Naqra'u. Okay, so yaqra'u, taqra'u, taqra'u, aqra'u, and naqra'u. All you have to do is change this. Okay. Uh, and then all, so if I'm saying I am reading, it's? Naqra'u. Aqra'u. Right? And then if I want to say I will read, sa aqra'u. Sa I will read. Okay, so I just put the sa whenever I want to. Um, let's do the uh, all 14 of them. So um, don't, don't you can go home and write them for uh, Monday uh, for Friday. I'll tell you to just pick a verb, say it in the past tense in your head, and then write the present tense here. Or you can write the past tense here too. But just look through it and then go through. Let's do it. Okay. So yaqra'u. Yaqra'u. What's homa? Yaqra'ani. So you take yaqra'u and you just put an alif noon. Yaqra'ani. Okay. And hum. Yaqra'una. Okay. Hiya. Taqra'u. Okay. So just follow along through here, right? So you, the hiya is in five in your pocket, so it's taqra'u. Okay. What's huma? Taqra'una. Taqra'ani. Taqra'ani. Okay. For hunna, now you have to go to the third column, the mabni. So there's a change there. What's hunna? Yaqra'u. So you're going to take the yaqra'u. And the, what the mabni does is that it puts a sukun on the last one, and then it puts a noon for the five. Yaqra'na. Um, all right, back to anta. This is back in five in your pocket. So anta, taqra'u, you are reading or you will read. And antuma, taqra'ani, okay. Antum, antum. Taqra'una, okay, antum taqra'una, anti, taqra'ina, taqra'ina, so anti is a little bit different, taqra'ina, okay, and then antuma, two females, taqra'ani, taqra'ani, excellent, and then antunna, taqra'una, so it's like the yaqra'na, but it's taqra'na, so they're both mabni, antunna and hunna, okay, ana, Okay, so I, this is why I gave you four. So you should, um, for Friday, you're, I'm going to ask you to pick a verb, write down the, you don't have to write down the past tense, but for the present tense, fill, fill in all of these. And this is how you get practice with um, all of the present tense, inshallah. Okay, let's go to the book. Um, we have ten minutes left. Yeah, 20 minutes. Well, he, he said wrap up by 9.20. <laughs> so he was kind of like... So they closed down the they're, Yeah, they're, they're, they said... I, it used to be till 10, it used to be open, I remember. We can do the last 10 minutes outside. Yeah, it was... Uh, we'll, we'll do a walking lesson, you know? We'll walk <laughs> far uh, but, but we're reading the, the English key in the back. And 7, right? Yeah, lesson 7. So... Do you want to go back to the Croatia? Um, I, I was thinking we could do 8 o'clock for the class and then do half an hour before Isha and then half an hour after, something like that. Does 8 o'clock work for people or no? Yeah. It works? Okay. We might do that. But I think for this, at least for Friday, it should be because I think they have, after, uh, they have the Friday night program, so we might be able to, you know, stay, keep this time for Friday. Um, for Friday, would it be better for to have it eight or after Isha? So they they let us stay until ten. I'm guessing if if they have like because they usually have like you know women's pro, uh, oh. committee program. There's a youth program. I don't know if it will be like that or not. I have to ask them. Um, if they let us stay, then we can do that for Isha. Yeah, we can probably just keep it after Isha. So we'll see, inshallah. Uh, okay, so lesson seven, we're reading the English in the back, okay? Um, points one, two, uh, three are all past tense. So now, right now, this is, the, this is the book introducing you past tense. We've been doing past tense since when? Way before Ramadan, okay? So we should already know this. It says, in this lesson, we learned the following one. 
Zahabtum, what does Zahaba mean? He went. went. He, he went. went, right? So it's saying Zahabtum, you, masculine, in the parentheses, masculine, plural, mm-hmm. went. Right? So Zahabtum is you all went. Um, Akaltum is you, ate. you all you ate, ate, right? What's you all um, studied? Darastum. Darastum. What's you all read? Qaraptum. Qaraptum. You all played? La'abtum. La'ibtum. 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 Okay. Um, so the question, the, the example they give is, Madha akaltum ya ikhwan? What's madha? What? What, what? akaltum did you eat, ya ikhwan, or brothers? Okay, so what did you eat, or brothers? So this is zahabtum. Then they're going to go to zahabtunna. Right? Zahabtunna is for what? Feminine. You, feminine, feminine plural. plural. So it's for antunna, zahabtunna. Okay? So qara'tunna is you all read a group of women. What's you all um, uh, washed a group of women? Ghasaltunna. Okay? And what's you all um, wrote a group of women? Katabtunna. So, أَقْرَأْتُنَّ هَذِهِ الْمَجَلَّةَ يَا أَخَوَاتُ So, did you read هَذِهِ الْمَجَلَّةَ means this, this magazine, magazine uh, O oh sisters. Okay. Number three. ذَهَبْنَا is we went. We went. Okay. سَمِعْنَا is we heard. Um, what's we, um, we prostrated? سَجَدْنَا سَجَدْنَا Okay, سَجَدْنَا um, okay, ما سمعنا الأذانا. So here the ما is doing what? It's negating, negating the, the verb, right? So ما plus a past tense verb is negating. ما سمعنا, we did not hear. What? The adhan. Okay. Um, and why is adhan have a fatha on it, adhana? Because it's the object. It's the object, right? So we didn't hear. You didn't hear what? The adhan. So whenever there is an object of a verb, it's always mansoor. Okay. Um, all right. So numbers four is um, pa- uh, is sorry past tense, but now um, they're showing you there's a, a the some there's some changes that happen with the um, the uh, with uh, the second the second person. Let me explain. What is the ver- what does the word say for number four? Ra'aytu <laughs> muhu. <laughs> Ra'aytu muhu. Okay? Um, you saw him. So they, 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 go, go, they go back and explain, right? So the word ra'ayta means he's. Uh, ra'aytu means I saw, right? Um, ra'aytu hu means. I saw him. I saw him. So uh, this is really <coughs> how many words? You have three. Three, right? So you have ra'ay. Right, which is your verb. Tu, which is your subject, your fa'il, ra'aytu. And what is who? Subject. No. Object. Object. Sorry. I saw him. Right, ra'aytu hu. This is like this is like if you if you were saying um, ra'aytu, right? Um, al kitab. I saw the book. Right. Ra'aytu al kitab. Right? So instead of this noun, you're just substituting it for it. the who, for it. Okay? Ra'aytu who. I saw the book, I saw it. Okay? So this is what the pronoun does. Um, or it could, I mean, ra'aytu who could mean him too. Yeah, I saw him. Ra'aytu al mudarris. I saw the teacher, and I want to say, I saw him. Ra'aytu who. The object didn't change because of the pronoun. Because the, pronoun doesn't the, the pronoun is still the object. If I if I if I change this back to ra'aytu hu, I've made hu the object. It's mansub, but it doesn't look mansub because the pronouns don't change. Okay. Um, so it's hu. Okay. Then the next one they give is ra'aytahu. So ra'aytah is anta, right? You, I'm talking to a man. Ra'aytah, you saw what? Him, Him or it. Ra'aytahu. Um, Alright. The next example they give is Ra'aytihi. So, what's Ra'ayti? 
is for anti, right? If I'm talking to a woman, I say ra'ayti, ara'ayti, did you see, right? Ra'ayti is for you. But what happens to the who? It, it becomes, becomes a uh, he, he because it flows better. Because it flows better, right? The, what the, what the, the example, what they say is that, note that in the last example, the who has changed to a he. This is, well, this is what they call it, vocalic harmony. This is the word that they use. It just means it, it sounds better. Tihi sounds better than tihu, right? So imagine if you had to say ra'ay tihi, you saw him. Ra, or sorry, ra'ay tihu, ra'ay tihu. Sounds weird. If you say ra'ay tihi, it's the same thing. Um, but let's go back to ra'ay tu muhu. The first point was ra'ay tu muhu. So what's ra'ay tum? You saw masculine. More than, um, more than thir- three two, or more, right? Three more. So, if I say ra'aytum, it's for antum. I'm talking to a group of men, right? And I want to say, and I want to add the pronoun who for it or him. So, how would this sound if I just jam these two together? Ra'aytum who, right? Ra'aytum who. It sounds really weird when you say when you're speaking. So, if you don't say ra'aytum who, you just add a little. Um, you put a you put a little wow, wow, and then you put a dhamma on the meme. So what uh, what ends up happening is that. Like, like this. Wait, where, where did you just put the dhamma? At? I'm gonna put I'm gonna take ra'aytum. Okay. Ra'ay. Ra'aytum, and for the meme, I'm gonna put a dhamma on the meme. I'm gonna insert a wow, and then I'm going to add my who. Ra'aytumuhu Instead of ra'aytumhu It sounds better if I say ra'aytumuhu Why is there um, Like almost like a double wow there Like why do you need Is it Why would you because need you, you put, Well because th- Technically this wow has a sukun Right oh, okay. So if you if you leave the sukun on the meme yeah, You can't have You can't pronounce two, two sukuns Right You can't say ra'aytumuhu So you have to Change this sound to a dhamma. So why not just try to move? So why not just uh, take the sukun off the other one? No, th- there, th- there is a sukun there. No, why don't you just take that off instead of adding a small one? Mm-hmm. All right. You you can't because you can't. There, you, how else would you pronounce this? Well, if it's if I, you can pronounce it just like it's. So I want to come. Oh, We're five more minutes, inshallah. Okay, I see your point. Without wow, it's also ra'aytum Without the wow, no, mm-hmm. because, because it's ra- it's ra'aytum hu. Yeah, but we have dhamma on mim. No, you have a sukun on mim. No, 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 no. After but after we add dhamma. After you add it, yeah, yeah, you have to, uh, you have to when you uh, when you add a wow with a sukun, the, the the letter before it automatically has to have an u sound to latch on to it. But well, I guess um, it's kind of what I was saying too is why not just add a wow on top of the meme and that's it. Don't even add the other wow. Yeah, just put a w- yeah, well, just like that. Yeah, we save ourselves another letter. Oh, it's right to move. Yeah, that, so that also sounds weird. Okay, so it's for the elongation, right? Yeah, you have to you have to like make to it make it a long vowel. Yeah, you have to make that lang- like the language has to the the sound has to be kind of like. It's like an Arabic, like it has to be have an Arabic flow to it. So if I you mean, say ra'aytumuhu, it sounds too fast. So you have to sort of stretch it to say ra'aytumuhu. Okay, d- just a quick question. Will we ever find in any f- words where we have, uh, let's say, a wow or an alif um, that is not preceded by something that has. Right, so whenever you have uh, the, the wow or the sukun, the letter before it has to have a dhamma. Whenever you have an adif, the letter before it has to have a fatha. Okay. Whenever you have a ya, then the letter before it has to have a kasr. Okay. This is like if you're for the the long, the, these are the long vowels. Long uh, 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 So they can never stand by themselves? Um, yeah, they don't stand by themselves. They, they yeah, stretch the letter before them. The letter before them, yeah. Okay. Yes. okay, so for homework, what you'll do is exercise number three. In lesson, lesson seven? Lesson seven, exercise number three. Okay.
So do that, and then also for Friday, take take one of the sheets, and then practice writing the... But what is, what is number four, just four in the verb sheets? So, lesson seven, exercise four. Yeah, underline the fine in the phone. And the verb sheet, right? And, and, and yeah, so take, take just pick a verb and then practice writing the, the present tense.